All right, hello people, and welcome back. Welcome back to some more Morrowind. Ah, oh, I believe, let's see. I believe what I was gonna be doing next was traveling north to Gnesis. So that I could join up with the Imperial Legion. Before I go, I'm, I'm feeling a little overweighted here. I'm just gonna be, I think I'm gonna drop some of these arrows. Maybe I don't need to be carrying around 300 of them. So I'm just gonna drop a few of them. <clears throat> you might be saying to yourself, you know, you know Lyman, I like this game and everything, but it's just a little too slow for me. I need something with a little more action, a little more fast-pacedness. And I would agree, but one thing I would mention is that this is still more or less the very beginning of the game. Take off 150, maybe 170. And I'm not, you know, I'm not even... Well met. Greetings. Uh, I haven't even gone up a level yet. The action is going to come. Okay. As far as the factions go, okay. I'm going to be joining all of the factions that I can. And I believe... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I believe there's going to be nine that I'm going to be joining. Plus... All of the side quests and in addition to that will be hopefully some pretty good dungeons and adventures from the mods that I have added on <clears throat> currently I've only got quests for one two three four five of the guilds and a couple of side quests <clears throat> Once I start to get quests from all of the guilds, there's going to be a lot more action. Um, basically, I'm going to be going from quest to quest to quest, doing all sorts of different types of adventuring and stuff. So, just try to hold on a little bit. And uh, just trust me that the action is going to be coming. The other thing I wanted to mention, too, is that although I'm going to be joining as many factions and guilds as I can, did I get my spells? Okay, I wanted to put a mark here. Before I go, I'm going to put a mark here. So I can teleport back here. That's what the mark and recall spells do. You mark a location with your spell, with your mark spell, and then you can recall. You will teleport back to the location that you marked. I'm just going to do it here in the Mages Guild. But yeah, there, there are three guilds, three factions that I want to join. And I'm going to be focusing on those the most. Uh, they are the Imperial Legion. Do you have something to say, Outlander? Imperial Legion, Imperial Cult. And the Great House Telvanni. And the reason why I'm going to be focusing on them the most is because I've never actually done them. Uh, I did a few in each one, but I haven't done them all. The other guilds, I've completed all of them. Those three I have not done. So I'm going to be focusing on them. And what I'll do is, let's say the Imperial Legion gives me a quest to go to the town of Aldrun. Okay, I'll go to Aldrun and do the Imperial Legion quest, but while I'm there, 
And while I'm going on the way there, while I'm traveling there, I will do all of the other quests from the other guilds along the way. So that way, you know, I'll be doing... Okay, I have marked this location. And it says it on the map here. I wish, uh... It doesn't say it on the world map, but it does say it right here. It doesn't show up necessarily. I wish it did, but just that little X right there. <clears throat> Is there something I can do for you, Outlander? So yeah, I'm going to be focusing on those three guilds, factions, the most. I'll be choosing to do those more than any of the others. stuff and remember if you don't have the mod called graphic herbalism your gathering of ingredients is going to be different from the way it looks here when you click on a plant like this it will open up a screen a separate window similar to as if you're opening up a chest and it will show you what ingredients what plants are inside of it I've got someone up ahead. I do have a mod that adds on highwaymen and bandits. So, that could be a bandit, or it could just be some kind of lonely traveler. There's a creature right there, too, in Nick's hand. It's been attacked. Okay. While I was traveling back to Balmora from a business trip to Caldera, I was attacked by bandits. They took my gold, but more importantly, they took an ancient heirloom that's been in my family for generations. Will you please confront the bandits and return my amulet to me? Sure, I will. Thank you, thank you. Bandits are in the cave next to me. Return soon and I will be rewarded well. Okay. So, I am not going to go in there just yet. I don't think I want to go in there first level. But I am going to... I'm going to put it down on my list of side quests. Bandits in Balmora. Right. Sounds like a good one. Maybe, maybe fifth or sixth level. I actually have no idea what level I'm supposed to be. And that may be one thing about these mods attack why is he not attacked
neither one of my conjured creatures attacked. I really don't know why. Luckily, I was able to kill it with my, uh... My bow. I wonder why that happened. Hopefully that doesn't become some kind of an issue. My graphics are messed up. Graphics were messed up, but I saved it, and then it looks like it cleared out a little bit. Alright, where am I? Okay. Just heard someone. Conjured up another creature. Hmm. One hit. Hopefully, he's got some good treasure. So maybe that's one thing to consider if you get some of these mods and you get some of these graphical glitches. Looks like sometimes just maybe saving it and reloading it will will cure it. Here is the bandit. This is somewhat of a game imbalance. <laughs> All right, he had Viper Bolt, twelve of them, 
12 magical arrows with poison damage. But then these glass jink blades. Okay. Those are for bolts, crossbow bolts. Those are very expensive, very valuable. Almost feel like I'm cheating by getting those at first level. And he had that crossbow, but I'm not going to take the crossbow. Uh, mainly just because I don't have any crossbow bolts. I think he had a few. He had those magical ones, but... I headed the right way. Oops, right here. But also, I'm trying to stay light, lightweight. also that I downloaded and it actually activated reduces the value of these alchemy components that I'm picking up which I guess is kind of good because some of them are really overpriced I think um, I don't know if I agree with everything that the person did who made that mod but I'm gonna go with it anyways like some of them one of them that hack low leaf that's like 30 gold for each one, and if you end up finding a whole bunch of them, then it's like you're more or less rich, at least at the beginning of the game, so I guess I agree a little bit with what he did. This is Caldera. Shanks shovel. Oh yeah, and the other thing that the mod did was it took out... I don't know if it's here. I think it's here. Took out... the scamp and the mud crab. And if you don't know what they are, basically they are uh, merchants that are basically, you can make a lot of money off of them. They buy everything and they give you full price for everything. And the guy who made this mod, and I agree, he, he took them out. I never used them when I played Morrowind before. just It just felt like too much of a... Even though it was in-game, it, it's not, you know, it's, it's something that the makers of Morrowind put in there. It's in-game, it's you're not really cheating, but I always felt like I was cheating. So, I... I, I never used them. Um, but they took them out anyways. I've never, matter of fact, I've never even seen the bud crab. I saw the scamp. The scamp, he's got, he's got about, f I think he's got, uh, 5,000 gold to barter with. And he gives you full price. So, like, these jinx blades that I just got here, um, 6,500. Well, just selling him just one of them, I would have been rich, even though he would only give me 5,000 for it. 
still it would have been really good money. I think he was in here. I think he was in the Gorak. Maybe. Fight well. Creeper. Okay. This is him. But he's not bartering. He's here, but he's not bartering. So. So I guess they didn't get rid of the creeper per se. They just took away his bartering ability. May your battle show only victory, friend. And this is the town where I've got to investigate the, uh, for the Fighters Guild. I've got to... kill some thieves. But I don't know if I feel... There are many creatures beyond the cities. I don't know if I feel Good quite hunting. confident going after them just yet. Only first level... So I feel like, at least for now, I just want to hold off. this book I like any I like to get my hands on any book that's worth more than a hundred gold the ones that are worth hundred gold or more are usually the ones that will raise up your skill levels I just gotta wait for that guy to Let's see I might be able to take it yes I took it there's another one. The game I played. Citizen. Game I played last. I had a horde, a whole library full of books. Breton. And I always told myself I wanted to. One day I just want to sit down and just read all of the books. Actually, there was one series that I actually read, and it was actually a pretty good story. It was um, The Queen Berenzaya. There's actually a yes. couple, couple of different, two different versions of it. I can't remember which one is which, but it's actually a pretty good story. <laughs> I was really surprised. Let's see what he's got. Four, four. Netch leather greaves. All right. Doesn't look like he has anything that I want. Thirteen hundred gold. Hmm. Got some nice heavy armor though. Kind of makes me wish I had taken up heavy armor. May the wind be on your back. Nothing I can steal. He's right there. Adventure lies beyond the cities, friend. Sure it does. From where do you hail? 
pawnbroker. Let's see what the pawnbroker has for sale. Hmm. Shadow Weave Ring. Chameleon 20%. That is beautiful. That could very much help me with my pickpocketing. 200 gold. Absorb willpower. Quality levitate. It's actually got some pretty good stuff here. Talk is free. What do you want? Looks like I might be able to pick his lock. Give it a try. Maybe that emulator is up here. Uh, six. Got it. Whoa. Did it just in time. go up there. You want something, friend? Yes. I want to see what's in here. We've got a cupboard. Nothing in there. Some plates. Common ring. Crimson despair. Common ring. White glow. Absorb willpower. Ah, I don't think I'm gonna want that. Fifty gold. It's hoping to find that nice amulet. Not amulet, the ring. Nice book, though. Gotta love these books. Hiding under some of these clothes, but all right. Well, it was worth a shot. So now the question is, do I want to buy it off the guy? Do you have something to say, Breton? It's right there. Mm. A 
That is nice. Chameleon 20%. Alright, I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna buy it off the guy. So anything that I can sell him that I have. Oh yes. It's Viper Bolts. I don't think I need these. 111. 131. I can't sell that Drew Wax. I need that for the shrine. Probably would not be a good idea to sell him back his own book that I just stole off of him. I don't think he would appreciate that. All right. I think that'll be good enough, and I will take his ring. Only cost me 99 gold after that. Good enough. Save it, save it. Clothier. Let's see what the Clothier has for sale. Yes, yes, yes. I found out what that means, too. Every merchant that I go up to... Interested in purchasing anything? The first thing they say to me... is hold on a few minutes, I'm busy. Talk to me again in a little bit. I found out that the reason why they do that, that's the mod. That's the mod that makes it so that they are better business people and that they are not gonna, that they're gonna charge you more for stuff and not buy stuff. Um, at least not for cheap. Uh, so, I found out what that is. It's basically just how the mod does whatever it does. A journeyman. So all this stuff I can have. It's not stealing. Slow soap, scath crawl, large wama egg, rice, large wama egg, more rice. Don't really know why that happened. Try it again. Actually, you know what, before I do that, let me pause it real quick and then I will restart it right away. So I'm breaking this up into more manageable parts. Be right back.